Hello and uh, welcome to uh, No No Nomad. Hello, welcome to Clu Cluletia. Um, we know it. We know it. Uh, uh Today I've been driving from Auto Camp Miris Lieta in Bosnia Herzegovina which is a beautiful small camping place near a beautiful water named uh, Jablanico Jezero I've no, now come to uh, Croatia and are just outside Split City and the drive has been uh, very very nice beautiful weather about 36 37 degrees a little bit hot but nice and if you see under uh, down there in the middle you see a little bit of uh, split coming coming close and today I will uh, show you uh, my trip in Croatia uh, where I've been all the nice places I've been in Croatia it's such a beautiful country uh, if I'm gonna rate my uh, all the 11 uh, countries I uh, visited I think in total Croatia is the best country to uh, drive a motorbike in and uh, here I am in the uh, middle of split where all the tourists are staying and uh, where all the boats are going to and from it's uh, it's nice and hot it's very very hot I'm gonna stop around here somewhere and uh, get something to drink before I call my buddy uh, DJ Corallo which I'm gonna meet up in the north of the country uh, maybe later today or uh, tomorrow as you can see Split is a very popular destination a lot of people, tourists, and uh, a lot of traffic. And you got some nice boats. Oh, wow, on the right side. Got people with money as well. I never liked traveling on the highway with a motorbike, but since I'm meeting up with uh, DJ Corallo tomorrow, I thought this was the best options to go from uh, Split to Rijeka. And finally I met up with uh, DJ Corallo in uh, Camp Ostro a uh, very beautiful camping site uh, just outside Rijeka city I feel like on this uh, motorbike trip down Europe that I cannot go wrong you know wherever I go uh, I always end up in some beautiful place which has something different to offer I'm gonna tell you about a very famous youtuber Christor something of the name and uh, he's very famous he got 450 million followers and he has the oh no no nomads motorbike vlog 
that he's telling about all the stories, events, and not necessarily the things happening in the night time. No, no, no. Like, oh, no, no. <laughs> Because that's X-rated and uh, you have to be 25 years old. <laughs> Me and uh, DJ Corallo stayed uh, three nights in, uh, well, just outside Rijeka on uh, the camping before we started driving south. And we drove uh, on the coastline all the way from Rijeka in the north to Dubrovnik in south but we had uh, two more nights before we uh, took the ferry over to Italy second place where we stayed in uh, Croatia is called uh, Saboric. And we stayed in a small auto camp. Uh, named uh, Moor, Autocam Moor, which was basically 20 seconds away from from the the ocean. It was truly magnificent. A very cozy little town with uh, some small restaurants and and it was like a small marina and. Uh, Oh, it was just beautiful. Yeah, I, I could stay there for a week or two just, just there. It was very, very, very nice. This is uh, just outside uh, Saboric, uh, driving around and uh, enjoying ourselves. Uh, we. Uh, Googled uh, a wine yard just 10 minutes from where we are staying. It's called uh, Testament Winery. The, the winery was huge, but since it was owned by a Swedish investment company, uh, I didn't find it so interesting. Since I couldn't try out any of their wine, since I was uh, driving a motorbike, uh, this was a very short visit. Last night in Croatia, we stayed in this beautiful small town called uh, Podgora, and uh, we stayed in a in a nice uh, Medora Orbis camping and glamping. Uh, we did not do any glamping, but we stayed in our tents. But still, it was very very nice, and. Uh, the uh, evening in uh, Podgora was excellent, which ended with a small boy singing uh, some lovely local tunes for everybody to watch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
on our last day in uh, Croatia we had a good time we had a lot of time before we're gonna take the ferry to uh, Italy so we figured out we we're gonna go up to this lovely site called uh, Biokovo Skywalk uh, the Skywalk is 1228 meters above sea level and it's just stunning you basically have to be there to just suck it in it's so so nice so very very nice you can't see uh, Italy from here but you will see some of the islands in the distance and uh, the small town where we camped just down the valley you can also see by how people walk they are it's not only me that's scared of heights but I didn't dare to go out there anyways this is a must place to visit if you are in Croatia We are at our final destination in Croatia called uh, Dubrovnik which is a old city with a big big uh, fortress in uh, 1979 uh, Dubrovnik was added to the uh, UNESCO list of world heritage sites because of its uh, outstanding medieval architecture and its fortified old town. Sadly enough, uh, I didn't have the time to uh, to check the old fortress out. That's it from Croatia. Uh, we are now uh, leaving and uh, taking the ferry from Dubrovnik over to uh, Bari in Italy and uh, the ride is about 12 hours so see you in Italy and uh, have a good evening <laughs>